Maxo Ellish, the two Leslies. That's Leslie Holmes at the piano, and in a moment you'll see Leslie Cerrone. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, I see. Late again. Always late. What's your excuse this time? Well, I'm sorry. I couldn't help being late. I had to do a bit of shopping. Shopping? Oh, I was thirsty. And I've come a long way to get here. I've come all the way from steak and kidney put wasted. Where's that? None eaten. And I brought you a present. Oh, you brought me a present? Yes. Oh, Leslie, that's marvellous news. Tell me, what have you brought me? An orange. An orange? Yes. What am I going to do with an orange? Suck it. That's a nice way to talk to anybody. You call yourself a perfect gentleman. I suppose if you were going to give somebody a house, you'd say, here's a house. Suck it. Well, if it were public house? Yes. How would you have me put it? In more flowery language. More flowery language? Of course. Holmes, what you take before a delphinium? <laughs> I mean to say, as a lawyer might put it. As a lawyer might put it. Well, that's a bit of a stiff task, but I'll have a pop at it. Now, let me understand you thoroughly. I am supposed to be a lawyer giving you an orange in legal power. That's perfectly right, Leslie. Away oh, you go. Oh, well, here goes. I hereby give grant and convey to all and singly my estate and interest, right, title, claim and advantage of and in the said orange, together with all its rind, skin, juice, pulp and pips, and all right and advantage therein, with full power to bite, cut, suck, squelch, or otherwise eat the same orange, or give the same away, as fully and effectively as I said, Cerrone and I entitled to bite, cut, suck, squelch, or otherwise eat the same orange, or give the same away, with or without its rind, skin, Juice, pulp, or pips, anything here and before or here and after, with any other deed or deeds, instrument or instruments, or what nature or kind, so ever to the contrary, in any wise notwithstanding. Oh, suck it yourself! After that, I think I'm entitled to be called to the bar. <laughs> I think after that, we're entitled to sing a little song. All right, then we will. We'll now give you a song of ours, a Cockney one, entitled 44,005. <laughs> Once I thought that I'd be a cowboy Out in Texas that gives me a rouse And the big boss one morning without any warning Sent me out to count all the cows There was forty-four thousand and five Forty-four thousand and five We went up the prairie and walked off airy As sure as me granny's alive My bronco he started to buck On the end and I soon did a dive All the language I use is I counted me bruises I'd forty-four thousand and five then <laughs> I thought that I'd be a sailor After weeks on the sea I was glum So I said to our cookie who once was a bookie Here, how many miles have we come? He said 44,005 44,005 Then we got to Turkey where life's pretty murky As sure as me granny's alive The Sultan he entertained me At his air and we soon did arrive I said you're a bit odd, what offspring have you got? He said 44,005 Good number lad To a football match once I was taken The game was quite foreign to me but from what I could hear, it was perfectly clear that the town led the tow rags by three. There was 44,005, 44,005, enjoying the outing or fighting and shouting, the rep was more dead than alive. Then I heard a plane up above, to find it I thought I'd contrive. I looked up to see and the pigeon found me out of 44,005. 